Right, what it is, is we're trying to make something similar to the Welsh pole one. So it's like a tank at the top, like a Great Western one. So what I'm doing now is, I've got myself a piece of 30 thou plastic card. Um, cut myself off what I thought is the height of the tank. A steel bar. And literally, just rolling it between my fingers to slow it slide along. Like so. And then the other way. It's not going to go like a full circle out like that, but there's enough spare on it to make a, a start. So there's our thing, we've rolled it. Um, we could overlap it, but I probably won't do. I'll probably cut it to size when we get it there. And what I've got to do now is cut some circles. So I'm using 3mm um, Formex. I've drawn my circles with a compass. Just literally popped it in and drawn round. And then what I do then is I sharpened a scriber um, dividers down. So I put a real sharp point on one and like a cutting edge on the other. I then pop it back in the hole and go around it. Uh, I tend to try and move the Formex because it gives you a little bit more control. If you try and just do it the compass all the way around you'll find it will slip and you'll end up with a line somewhere where you didn't want one. So I'll just work my way around. That's it. Now I'll give it a good press in because we're going to follow these lines to cut it out. There you are, I think I did that one deep enough, I'll just go around it again just to make sure there's no shallow parts. So what I've done is cut myself three circles. So now what I do is get me hook blade, well curved as I've keep been told, and then just gently again not a massive amount of pressure just work your way around slowly um, I cut three because I'm going to put one in the middle for support As you can see I don't try and do it all in one go, just me work my way around slowly. And there we are, that's not bad really, and that the idea of that is we're going to pop this in here, super glue it in, and that will give me the start of my tank. So I'll conti continue and cut the other two out, and I'll glue those in. Right, there we are, that's our three circles. Um, 3mm Formex 
actually a bit of scrap what I've, I've actually sprayed on but you don't see the inside the only one you'll see is on the top one which would be that one I'll use that one the bottom and what have you you don't see and there's other parts going on so the next stage is to make a tank so what I'm going to do is I'll start by sticking it on the edge and just slowly working my way around like I said I've tried to preform it a little bit but with a bit of super glue I'm hoping that I can get it done never tried this so I'll have a go right so what I've done now I'll just take it back out again I've cut another piece and rolled it with my roller just to give it a bit of staff with the cans like so and what I'm going to do now is drop that in there a little bit of silver glue I've cut it so it fits dead on and then shove it all the way down and that will give you something to glue because I've not lined this up with that it's now lined up with the edge away from there so I can line it up this one put some glue on the back of there glue that and that'll hold that in there is another band go around here and there is seams on this so I'm not too bothered if it's a little bit up but I'd rather it was as flat as I can get it would look better so now I'll go ahead and stick that part in and then stick the middle piece in one of these which will go on top of there obviously like so and we keep pulling it together so we've got a complete tank Right, so I've just now cut another piece to go in there, obviously allowing so I can get my formex at the top. So what I'm going to do now is 30 thou plastic card and I'm going to roll it onto here. And this is so it, so it just makes it that little bit easier to carry care rather than struggling trying to do it in, without some sort of bending it whatsoever so it's a narrow piece of tube you don't need a wide piece because you won't get um, any carving if you use a big wide piece you can start off if you want nice and slow on a, a big piece but it's just a matter of pressing on it and rolling and the same from the other end Keep it in line as much as you can. Obviously, that keeps it the cave better. As simple as that, and that gives you enough to get it round. So we're now going to pop it in again, making sure we're away. You look it in there, so you can see it. And what we're going to do is put a little line in there, get my two pieces joined up, so you know it's to cut off. So you cut that piece off. And again, making sure you're away from the seam. Drop that there. Make sure we go in with that one and we can glue that together and that is a rigid tank so we put our insert in it just gives it a little bit of a shelf and um, we're just going to run some glue around the edge of it this is just a super glue that's all it is um, I get it whatever super glues I can use I get from wherever I don't think there's a particular type of brand they're all just in more of an industrial glue than your standard cheap ones I would presume they work I just found these are bigger tubes go right round let's take it every part looks as I'm putting loads on I'm trying to keep it as low as I can it, it, the more super glue you put on the longer it'll take to to dry I do use an activator 
which comes with this particular tape as well. Um, I do this for speed really, it, it's not necessary. Drop it on, drop that in. Make sure it's well pressed. And that is our start of the tank. And that's as simple as that really. Right, so now I'll just square the top up. That's it. And give it a good sanding. And what you find is because you've got super glue in there, when you sand these parts, the dust acts like a filler, you just fill it in that little bit. There's one, that's the bottom, and the top's the same, just go around, tidy it up. The neater you are at the beginning the better. There we are, that's the first part done. So now what we've got to do is, we've got to put three bands around, which it has, and then it has bands on the seam. Now I'm gonna do one seam and leave one, because they've done it in two separate parts, if you look at the picture of it. So I'll have seamed it there, then seamed it there. So I'll seam ours at the bottom, and seam it there and leave that one. Once you've painted it and everything, it won't stand out that much. So the next st stage is just to cut some strips. Right, so what I've done now is I've cut three bands out of the 30,000 plastic card that I made this out of. That is really solid now. I mean, it's only 30,000 card, but with three formers in, strong as you can believe. So what we've done now is we've cut three 316 bands, which are gonna go on there. Again, I'll do the same thing. Just to give myself, it's, so it's not trying to force it all the time. It just literally, piece of bar, and just give it a curl. It just makes life easier. And the same from the other end. I mean, you could use a thinner bar if you wanted to get a bit more accurate and a bit nearer, but that for me is quite reasonable. So again, we're just going to pop these on there, form them round, and then just trim them into size when we get to the stick it on. So the first job is now is to stick one side on. Always, I always start at the back side like that and leave me ends and just work my way around and eventually glue that bit. So I'll carry on and glue them on. The one we use has got, um, we use a super glue as a, an accelerant stick. Now this one's is a mitre pen by Unica and it's there, I think it's half full rapid set adhesive. If you use this, you don't have any time. It sets immediately. So just be careful if you decide that that's what you, the way you want to go. Just make sure you've got things positioned quick right in the first place. Alright, so I'll add these half. So somewhere in the middle. You don't want to mass it. Less super glue is always a good answer. Don't go for tons of super glue because that's something else you don't need. Get that where it's lined up. Onto there. Like so. And 
And like I say, you don't get any time with this. So if you decide to go this way, like I'm doing, really, you've got to really be accurate. Don't go on your fingers either, because it makes it sticky. <laughs> and that, believe it or not, a set absolutely solid and it's in milliseconds you can do it without there's no reason to put so that type of thing on and it will give you a little bit more time but um yeah just be careful if you do use an x which will accelerate it it does accelerate it really really quickly so again just a little bit of super glue on here Keep it as least as possible. Super glue doesn't work as well when there's tons of it. It likes to be less. Just work your way around and get your first one in. Again, as I've used my accelerant, it will stick instantly. And I mean instant. So then we go back with the next one. Mark it where we want to cut it, take it off, trim that little piece off, test fit, and you're absolutely bang on. Just a tiniest little bit more. Test fit again, and that looks perfect, that's lovely. So again, you've only got that little bit to do now. nice and gentle sometimes you need about eight hands but don't we find that in all modeling that's it just run it round make sure it goes in and that's the first one Gentle rub with the sandpaper, like I said before, when you stick two ends together in plastic card, if you just give it a quick sand, you've still got adhesive in there, quick sand will just drag the dust into there and seal it. Always sand them down because when you cut plastic card it leaves a ridge on both sides, so I've always sanded it. And that's the first one so I'll carry on and do the others and I'll come back when I put the other two on the other ones obviously in the middle exactly the same thing and the third one is at the bottom so I'll put them on and then we'll carry on right so what we're doing now is we're going to use the that's the top part because it's got marks in from a bit of scrappy four marks we had so what I'm going to do is cut a circle now just slightly bigger. We think this is, uh, when you look at the picture of the Wells Pool water tank, it just hangs over slightly at the top. So i drawn a circle, slightly bigger, set my little dividers up, which like I said earlier, sharpened at one end for cutting, pointed at the other, and I just work my way around. I don't try and do a full circle in one go because if you do your compass will slip and your dividers will slip so and you press in to get a an actual groove in the, to there for your knife to follow so again I'll turn it round and work from the other way and the last corner like that I think I went round as well then and what I've done there is put a groove in 
So my carved blade will actually follow that. If it, nice and gentle dot. There's no price for going quick. So it's just nice and easy. There we are. How to put a circle. Simple as that. Uh, this is the backing what was still on this piece. Take that off. Tidy your edges up. And there you are. Are you filming this bit? <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're putting the top on. Keep the reasonable bit because that one you, the, is a smaller circle. Put myself a couple of marks around the outside so I can give myself to a D, you know, so it keeps me pretty lined. Um, you can do that going back to your size of your circle. I just wind in that back into where you want it and it'd be about there pop it on and then you could draw a circle right around it's just so you can keep it land so next stage is I'll glue this and close that the tatty one glue around the edge again don't go wild with the glow you don't need it do. get it set up touch one corner before you put the others down once it touches it's stayed <laughs> that won't come off now so that's the top of our tank just round them just send them corners down I would imagine there'd be an inspection hatch on the top of here because there is ladders going up to it at the Wellspool one I have got a couple of pictures I've seen um, so we think there will be a hatch on the top without climbing up there I don't know where it is and if there aren't any pictures I'll just make it up I don't think they'd appreciate me climbing up the ladders so there's our first part that's our tank virtually completed we now need to do the bottom part with the support right so we've done the top parts the bands we're going to put some rivet details on these when we get the riveter out and do that bit. And um, what we're doing now is the base. So we're going to start off, I needed to cut some circles. What I needed was, there's a band that goes all the way around at the bottom. So I've cut some of these circles out. This will be a little test for your, your cutting, to cut one of them. We're going to pop that on there. And I needed three smaller ones to lift the middle up. And then I'm going to pop them in the centre. And from that bit, there's some fins. We're going to divide it into six and cut some fins. What will go down from there, a hole in the centre, and we can pop our post in. And we're on our start for the big part. Right, so we've stuck our pieces on the bottom now. So I made three discs to make that distance up. I've got the ring. What I made earlier, the foundation, and that goes just inside of there. So what we're going to do now is we'll stick this on and I'll cut some fins to suit there. I'll divide this into six. It looks as though it's got six fins under and we'll cut and mark them and stick them on. So I'll do them in formex as well just so it gives it all the same thing. And then we're ready to put the base in which is a pillow. Now on the Welsh pull one, this actually tapers. Um, I won't be tapering it. Again, at the end of the day, it's a representation of that water crane. 
Um, we'll cut it to height obviously and make, make it against an engine and then put the base on and then we've just got the pipes to put in. Right, so we've now glued our foundation ring which goes around the outside. We've glued the centre part in, we've glued this bit. That's all set up now for the support to go off the floor. Um, so what I'm making now is the small fins, or fins as I call them. Um, they got the sixth of them in all, in all. So what I'm going to do is just cut small pieces, mark on there where I want to be. Still use a square. Mark that off, and then it's three milli on the top. So I just cut a little three milli mark. Draw it along. Get that on my way so you can see where I'm going. And this one it's more just gently you sometimes better being a little bit big than a little bit short so what i've done is cut the first part out and test it where that's going to go that looks pretty reasonable probably could do with just a little bit more off there so again just gently with your knife pop that back and then the next one is marking this one. So you've now got that mark. Again, use a square. Draw it up. Again, test it. Which one I was going in? It was that one. Like so. And then mark it on the third bit, which is there, and I went just in front of there. So I mark that, you can see that, just drop the ruler across it, and cut that piece off. And that's the other, and that goes in there like so. As I all know now we stick that one in so you can see it. I've marked it so there's two marks so it's all from the center so the line up pretty reasonable um, once it's on a railway I don't suppose we'll ever see the bottom but I'm going to carry on I'll stick this one in so you can see me doing it so I make sure I'm square on the bottom so make sure that's cut square Don't put any, what you call it, um, accelerant to make it quick, stick quicker because you need to guard it in position so just a little bit more time to play with it. It's still not very long but you would have a lot, a bit more time to do it. Make sure you're on the marks. Pop it in as such. Check that it looks square. And that's a little bit of a clean up. Get them edges nice and round. So it looks as though it's thingy. It looks as though. And that's the second one. And what I'll do is I'll follow all the way around the six of them to make. And that will be the support. You can see it to a degree. But you can now see where we're going with it. So there we go. Last little support to go in. Lining up with the black dots what we'd marked in earlier. And obviously lining up with the outside one. And press it in. Nice tight fit. And um, just a quick clean. Bit of emery. Like I say I like to Sand them straight away, all the bits of dust will fill into the gaps. What if you're a little bit short, it tightens it up a bit. And that, I'm just going to round them edges. And that's our base done underneath. So that's the support bracket, that's the support for the column. The column will go in there. 
we've already set that up so it goes in and I think we'll make it a bit shorter sure the engines are going to never reach up there so I'll measure that what I need to be I think roughly and my locals are about six and a half so if I do it six and a half from there you're going to be well covered if you do it six from there that would be more than enough um, in fact I think that's a little bit tall so I'll probably do it at five Oh no, I'll have to have a look at the engines and see, have a look at the picture, make sure I get it the right height. But that's it next. The next part is to saw this down to the right height and then do the base part and then we'll show how we're going to do the pipes. Right, what I've done now is I've made a little square base because it's, it's put onto concrete. Um, there's the actual tower, so I would, this will go in with their garden. I think, you know, they can pin this down or whatever they need to do to keep it in place so what I've done is I've drawn a circle mark my centre the same with this and um, what I did with this I actually had to cut the tube down so what I did while I had it in my lathe I chamfered the edge and what I chamfered that for was I can actually just hit it with an amateur mallet and just knock me all straight through so it's a little bit of a tiggy if you could have do a tube just chamfer the edge and make a little punch with it so I thought I'd just tell you that but you maybe thought I was cutting them small holes no I wasn't next one is to glue this one on again I'm not using anything to make it set quicker because this will grab quick enough as it is I'm now just popping it so it's all lined up with that like so And that's our first part of the base done. Just let that set for a couple of seconds. And now what I'm going to do is cut some smaller circles out. Like we did last time. And we'll mark them out. Cut two or three to match roughly to this size. Not quite the same. And that goes in there. Like so, it's a nice tight fit, so I can get that in. I used to be able to. And that's how that all goes together, like so. So what I've done now is, I've cut two smaller circles, punched the hole through, centred it all up, put my base, so that's the base where the, la the chapel's railway is. You can pop that on, that's the top. And we're now going somewhere near what's looking like a water crane. So what we're going to do now is these fins looking at our picture on our uh, laptop was exactly the same. So they came from there and obviously they just sloped down to there. So what I'll do now is make some fins, mark it all off and stick them on. Right, so what I've done now is marked it so I've set up my parts I've got some tiny little fins what go into there and what I shall do is glue these on to represent the bottom support and there we are that's that part in and that obviously represents the supports for the tube and this um, we've got a hatch to put in on the top which we think would be there we aren't quite sure, we've never seen the top of this unit. So we're going to put that in. There's a ladder what goes up to there. Um, there's a pipe what comes out of here, comes out and down. And there's a bracket that supports it from there. And that'll be it. So we're going to finish there for today. So it took us to get to this stage, uh, probably three or four hours. But I'm quite pleased with that. It's looking the part. Um, it's a big thing. Um, but then I think it was a um, standard gauge railway one they got it off. I would imagine it was off the Great Western or something like that. So I don't think it was an original thing on the railway. But I like it. 